Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Power Cat Roundtable. This week I am joined once again by beat writer Tate Steinlagi as well as sports writers Tim Everson and Emilio Rivera. Uh, just to start off with, I think we really saw last week again how, how good K-State is against the run. I think now they're 13th in the nation, which is impressive, ahead of TCU and right behind Baylor. So guys, this defense, is it legit? It's legit. Um, I think some of the worries are still in the secondary, but at least in the linebackers and the defensive line, there's so much things you can positively look at them. And I think one time we were, we were talking today, uh, Danzel McDaniel is just a guy who's, uh, Ryan Mueller called him a torpedo after the game on Saturday. He's a guy that I think is really influencing the speed of this uh, defense. There's a lot of good things to take away and, and a lot of improvements that still can be made. And improvements are what you want to see. You don't want to um, hit, your, hit your peak too early in the season. So I think that's going to be good, uh, good for this KCU team. Yeah, one thing that really stood out to me was uh, special teams overall. Matt McGrain taking over uh, place kicking. Uh, but Tyler Lockett, the kind of return of just the dominance that we saw in his freshman and sophomore year, his first punt. Uh, return touchdown of his career, and that was that was a really something special. The thing I point to as one of the keys to this game was the play of the offensive line themselves. They really stood out this game. They were excellent at getting on blocks, on chipping off blocks to linebackers, which let this running back core just go wild on the UTEP defense. And they really improved on the pass blocks too. How they hung on the blocks, how they created a solid pocket, really helped this team pass the ball. Well now you bring in a Texas Tech team who I think it's fair to say there is obviously some talent there. Davis Webb a very capable quarterback but then you also have the fact that Davis Webb who knows if he will even play Cliff Kingsbury has said that he's day to day. Very well could see the field we just don't know but defensively with all due respect it's still I mean they've been porous and it might just be a compliment to even say that so Against the run, they're, they've been abysmal. But at the same time, I think we know that once this Saturday could be their could be their defensive coming up party. What do you guys expect for them defensively against this K State's offense? You know, it puts K State in a really awkward position because there's so much uncertainty heading into this game with Webb. You don't know if he's going to play, and if he doesn't play, all of a sudden you have a backup quarterback who probably isn't going to throw the ball downfield. They're probably going to uh, buy for some short passes, uh, some really easy routes yeah. for him. You really don't know what to expect from a defensive standpoint. You know they're going to throw the ball, but as Snyder said Tuesday, they like to run the ball all the same. If they play the way they have the last two games, I think they're going to be fine against Texas Tech. Yeah, and like, like Tate said, Coach Snyder mentioned that really it's more of a 60-40 balance for Texas Tech, which kind of surprised me. It really wasn't something that I really thought about because you think of them as more of just the air raid, pass, pass, pass team. But you do kind of hope that they try to go for that run more because that definitely plays the K-State strength as a defense. This game is completely and early about discipline. Texas Tech has to be the most undisciplined team thus far. And that is on Cliff Kingsbury, Kingsbury's head. It, it's a direct translation to what his philosophy is. They lead the Big 12 in turnovers a game. They lead the Big 12 in penalty yardage a game. They are undisciplined, and if they don't turn that around, they're not going to succeed in this league. Now, I, I, I'm not going to be a secret about it. I'm a Cliff Kingsbury admirer. I think you guys all here know that. Uh, one thing he told me at the beginning of the season at Big 12 Media Days in Dallas was that he's learned a lot how to react to, to negative and to adversity. Don't think that this Texas Tech team is going to come out here and just die, even if they get beat around in the first quarter. Look what Iowa State, they were down, they came back and found a way. So I think uh, Kingsbury's got this team ready to go, um, but I also expect like you guys brought up some really good points. So. Well, this is going to be the first Big 12 game in the stadium. Every person who comes to this game on Saturday is going to know it. And after seeing Texas Tech last Thursday at Oklahoma State, yes, they kept it close, but at the same time, I go back to the discipline that Emilio brought up. They clearly were rattled. For me personally, I look at this environment and know what it's going to be like on Saturday. I just don't see how Texas Tech can rebound so quickly. So I've got K-State in a fairly easy game here. So Yeah, I have them winning easy as well, but I do expect uh, Texas Tech to show some improvement, and I think that's going to be key for them. I think this game's more of just a rebound in terms of showing some positive aspects. For them, it's just about showing that they can play better, that they can improve upon a game uh, last week and carry over some of the momentum from the positives that they did have. I still expect K-State to have a great game. I think the running game's really going to show some positives here, which is huge going into Oklahoma the next week, because they're not going to win that game in Norman if they can't run Ball. Yeah, last year, uh, a, honestly, a reeling K-State team went down into Lubbock and honestly righted their ship in beating Texas Tech in a big way. Uh, this K-State team is better than that K-State team. This Tech team 
is much worse. So I, I, I see no reason why K-State should not only win, but easily take care of Texas Tech. Yeah, I have K-State beat. This Tech team is by far the worst Tech team you've seen in the last few years. And again, it comes back to discipline, and I see the discipline shooting themselves in the foot again at K-State. I do see the defense, however, actually showing up this game. They have not played well, and everyone knows it, and I think they don't. Then penalties will start racking up. Offense will throw a turnover or two, and it's just going to snowball our effect. Well, that'll do it for another edition of PowerCat Roundtable. Thank you guys for joining us, and uh, we'll see you guys then uh, in a few weeks as we prep for Oklahoma.